it feels like Christmas hasn't been the same like what it used to be years ago. There is something different about it. The world has changed. So much negative has happened. But I'm determined to find those little things, those little moments, those little aha Christmas spirit things you can do. So this is my list of things you can do to enjoy the Christmas season. You don't need to hear your purring. Look at camera. Look. No. <laughs> we need her. Scarlett. You can't fall asleep like that. Hmm? Sorry. Numero uno. Way to enjoy the Christmas season would be to throw on some festive Christmas wear. Some festive Christmas wear. Can you see my booty? Festive Christmas wear. There's just something about being able to dress up for an event that just gets you in the mood and it gets you all festive. So buy yourself some cool Christmas socks, a t-shirt, some PJs, whatever it is you can afford, whatever it is that suits your fancy. Numero dos, play some Christmas music. Yes, some people are like, oh, it's the same old music. No, there are many different types of Christmas music. You've got classical, you've got remixes, you've got pop, you've got jazz. Find whatever gets you going, gets your spirit feeling good. That's the key here. Feeling good in your spirit, feeling happy, feeling joyful. So find your favorite Christmas music and play it. Numero tres, for the foodies out there, enjoy some hot chocolate and nibble on some cookies. There's just something about drinking a warm cup of cocoa and if you're not a fan of cocoa, some tea, put some rum, put some vodka, whatever you like, whatever you, whatever is your fancy. You're gonna put it in your Christmas cup, you're gonna put it in your favorite mug, you're gonna sit, you're gonna relax, you're gonna enjoy some cookies, maybe it's not some cookies, whatever it is. The key here is to enjoy the simple things in life. Numero uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Numero cuatro. Sit, as weird as this may sound, sit and watch your Christmas tree, if you've got one, or your neighbors, or one in your community. Just sit in silence. A lot of these things that I'm mentioning actually are forms of meditation, forms of just slowing down, getting away from the rush, all of the shopping and the buying and the traffic. Just slow down and enjoy those simple things, like the twinkling lights on your tree, like the sparkle, the glitter. Just sit and enjoy and embrace the feeling of Christmas. Numero cinco, buy someone a gift, give a donation, whether it's one of those Salvation Army guys outside of the supermarkets and stuff ring the bells. Oh my God, Scarlett, you can eat quieter? Again, buy someone a gift. If not buying someone a gift is for you, do some giving, do a bit of the donations, some money, whether it's to a charity, whether it's to someone in your community. The factor of giving raises your your happy feeling so that is a definite numero six and that would be to buy yourself a gift and wrap it have you guys ever watched um mr b when he buys himself a gift he wraps it up and then he opens it on christmas day and he's like oh my god i really wanted this
Like, I know it might sound stupid or simple, but again, the simple things of life really do make a difference. So being able to wake up and unwrap a gift, even if nobody else buys your gift, you bought yourself a gift. I am trying real hard to talk hard over this cat eating. You know, so she right next to me. Anyways, so buy yourself a gift, wrap it up and put it under your tree or whatever you have. Number seven, take a walk through your neighborhood, your community, and just enjoy the lights. If you didn't put up any, I'm sure there's somebody around you who put up some lights and they've got this big show going on. Go and take a look at night. Take a stroll, a cool walk and stroll and enjoy the beautiful lights. It goes back with just like tree watching, your tree watching, or any tree watching. The key is to slow down and enjoy the simple things, like twinkling lights. Here, and they stop twinkling. This one is a big Christmas tradition for me and my daughter, Michaela, we watch Christmas movies from as early as October and then throughout the season, leading up to Christmas, we watch things like Polar Express, we watch The Grinch, the classics. Anything that gives you that fuzzy feeling, sit back, relax and enjoy a nice Christmas movie. Number ocho, write a gratitude list. Yes, a lot of shit is going wrong. A lot of stuff is going wrong. A lot of stuff will continue to go wrong. We live in a world where bad and good exist and it will continue to exist. But the best way to move forward and to take account of what you do have is to write a gratitude list. So write down all the things you're grateful for. Please don't even talk about, don't even bring up the things you're not grateful for. Don't be like, oh, I didn't get to pay the rent. Oh, I didn't do this or oh, I didn't do that or whatever me and my love broke up. No, you're gonna focus on only the good. Write that list, write 10 to 20 things you are grateful for for 2024, <coughs> 2023, and then write a list of things you like to do for 2024. So kind of like a precursor to your New Year's resolution, but you know, waiting for the New Year's, we're gonna do it now at Christmas, and for more, any time of year, you're going to write yourself a gratitude list, you can actually have a gratitude jar. I got this idea from my friend Shazina. I'll link her video right here, but I've started it. Don't always put stuff in it, but it's a great idea. Yeah, I think I may have messed up my numbers, so, but that was not the important part. It's the points that matter. It's not how many they are. And the final thing you can do to really enjoy the Christmas season, numero days. That is to spend time with loved ones. Whether it's a friend, family, whether it's a pet that has disappeared. Spending time with those you love, bonding and having that sense of connection in this world where everything feels so close to the, um, so close to the internet, but yet so far apart. Spend time with those you love, no matter what, firm or fashion they come in. Hey, maybe it's a stuffed toy. Maybe it's an online friend. That's still spending time with your loved ones. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me if you like videos like this, where I kind of, you know, stray away from the tropical, from the destination, from the Barbados kind of concept, but more into just life and inspiration because that is something that is important to me and something that means a lot to me and i hope that i can share that with you especially at this time of year when it can be a very heavy on emotions and feelings and both good and bad and we just want to find good in this world because things are just all over the place and we just want to find our place and i am finding mine and i hope i can help you find yours Okay, I've rambled enough and it is literally 12 o'clock in the middle of the morning. I think that's what time it is, yep. It's 12 a.m. I've been rambling, <laughs> but I'm really enjoying, I really enjoyed making this video for you guys. I hope you like it and continue to enjoy the rest of Vlogmas. Bye-bye.